Hello everyone and welcome back to Feature Highlights on Pipso TV channel. I am your host Sinisha and today we continue to set up the WooCommerce, Dokkan and Product Vendors integration. In previous episode, we have set up the WooCommerce integration where we integrated the activity stream for orders and reviews and also we created some additional tabs in the user profile my orders and my cart. They are set up over here. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at product vendors additional add-on for WooCommerce, which is a paid add-on and you will actually need to pay in order to have all of those features that I am going to discuss now. What product vendors will allow you to do is set up your shop in the similar way but this time all of your users will be able to sell their own items on your web shop and as an admin you will be able to collect commission in turn there is another woocommerce multi-vendor solution which is called dotan and it's free and we're gonna cover dotan in the next episode for now, we are going to focus our attention on WooCommerce product vendors. Before proceeding to the installation, let me take a moment to explain what product vendors is and what it isn't, so you can set your expectations accordingly. What product vendors will not do is immediately allow all of your website users to sell items out of the box. No, this is not what this plugin will do. In fact, you will actually have to create a shop for every vendor. And when I say shop for every vendor, it's like a, a separate place on your website where user will be able to add their own products and they will have to log into the WordPress admin backend in order to upload their products. If you're okay with that, go ahead and buy the plugin, install it into your website the same way as you install any other plugin. Actually, let me, uh, let's do that together. Let me just quickly delete the one I have installed. Once you downloaded it, go to plugins, add new, upload the plugin, choose the file that you have downloaded and install now. Activate the plugin. And once it is activated, you can find all of the options here in WooCommerce settings then products vendors now these are the uh, general settings for for this plugin where you can set the payout schedule and uh, your uh, your paypal payouts mm -hmm. uh, uh, account you can find all the information how to set up the sandbox uh, uh, actually paypal payouts api and secret api uh, you will need all of those credentials so please read all of this documentation let's just quickly close this and most importantly you can set up the default commission let's say it's going to be five percent and what this means when user create or make a sale that cost like uh, $10, you will take 5% of those $10 to yourself as a commission for providing the service. There are some additional options over here, but they are mostly cosmetics or like show and hide vendor review, vendor logo, vendor profile. You can either choose to enable or disable all of them. So save the changes and now go to pipso configuration 
WooCommerce, scroll a little bit down and you will see that now we have a new profile tab available called product vendors. Let's enable it and call it vendor. Save, save the settings, go to any profile, let's say my profile, and there will be no vendors tab. Now, why is that? Remember I said that you will have to create a vendor out of every single users. So all of these users don't even know that there is an option to create their own shop. So you will need to advertise this somehow, either in a blog post or, or in a community saying that the shop is open and they can apply to become a vendor. First of all, let's create a shop for our admin user. To do that, go to your Pipso, actually WordPress dashboard, then products, vendors. Our admin is called Frank Westwood. So we are going to name this shop Friends Shop. Give it a slug and add a new vendor. Here you will immediately see that new vendor is created. And if you go to the Frank profile, there is no vendor tab and uh, yet because we need to add a few more settings. Notes, logo, vendor profile, vendor email, vendor admin. Vendor admin is going to be Frank. Commission from this seller will be the default we set in the global settings. We're going to pass the shipping cost to the vendor. Tax handling will depend basically from your physical location. Do you, are you keeping taxes, pass taxes or splitting them? And instant payout simply means that we are going to uh, pay the commissions to the vendor when order is paid. We are going to avoid the uh, default setting that is set here in WooCommerce settings and then products vendors this one manual weekly bi-weekly monthly so we can say hey pay this uh, pay commission to vendor instantly when order is paid so we don't want to do that here we are going to add Frank's email where we set up where we want commissions to be paid. So this will be his email. Time zone and enable bookings feature doesn't need to be there if you don't have a booking options. And now when we refresh the profile of the friend, you will see that he has an option, a new tab called vendor because he is a vendor, right? Because this is the admin user, the guy who is going to collect commissions from the sales, let's actually create a web shop for a regular standard user. And let's choose Angela Rogers here and create her web shop where she will be able to upload the products and sell them in her own web shop. To do that, go to WordPress dashboard, users, all users, find Angela, edit the user and change her role from subscriber to vendor admin. Update the user, but don't go away from this page. Instead, scroll a little bit down until you find the vendor, vendor management options. 
here we can uh, decide whether or not Angela will be able to publish her products immediately or her products will need approval. Let's keep it as need approval and we are not going to allow her to add their own or create new customers. So other users will actually have to buy something from her in order to be her customers. Let's update the user and repeat the process for products, vendors, create the Angela shop, give it a slug, add new vendor, edit this vendor and say where was it okay vendor admins are going to be angela rogers and update it you will also want to add angela's paypal e paypal email where commissions will be paid to that user but for now let's log out from from our website as an admin and log in as Angela Rogers log in let's visit her profile and now we can see she is the vendor as well but have no products yet so how do you create the product let me show you how to do this to add a new product angela will actually have to go to the wordpress dashboard and this may or may not be the pain point when you decide whether or not you want to use this plugin because there is no simple way to add the product from the front end they all of your vendors will have to have to visit the WordPress dashboard and it will look like this where they will be able to see all of the orders reports their products and even change the store settings so obviously they will not be able to to change the commission but they can enter the the paypal email their vendor email change the logo update the vendor profile with the description and so on to add a new product they will simply navigate to products add new and the interface similar as adding a new product in WooCommerce will be shown so let's quickly create Angela's first product give it some description if you want regular price will be $20 it is not going to be on sale it's going to be in the core category and product image let's upload the files let's take this carpet for example set the product image and submit for review remember how we set angela to not publish the products immediately we will submit this for review and wait for the admin to actually approve that product so let's get back to the admin user and immediately here you will see the notification saying one let's check what is that notification switched to pending and here we can see that one product is waiting for review let's edit take it over from angela 
check everything, check the image. It's automatically added to Angela's shop and let's simply approve this product. In shop, entire shop, now we can see that there is an Angela's first product available. And if we go to her profile, vendor, we can see that this product is now displayed in her profile and you can buy it directly from here. And that is how you allow users to become vendors on your web shop. If you don't like the idea of users accessing the WordPress dashboard, I did up through the documentation of this plugin and found this question over here. Why is there no product submission from the front end? There is actually an idea posted here in the WooCommerce forum asking for WooCommerce developer to implement this feature. So if you like this plugin and want your users to be able to submit products from the front end, go here and vote for this idea. If not, in the next episode, we're going to see how Dotland integration works and it actually allows you to set it up for the users to submit their products through the front end. That will come in the next video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, smash that bell notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Links will be in the description below. Until then, I wish you all the best with your website. Bye.